Hello, my name is Christina Eanes, and I am host of the Quit Bleeping Around podcast and the Christina Eanes YouTube channel. As a proud volunteer for Suited for Change, I'm hosting a very special podcast series. In honor of Black History Month and Women's History Month, I'm interviewing several amazing ladies who have some great advice to share. Welcome, Fernanda. Thank you for joining us on the SFC Suited for Change podcast. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Well, you are an integral part of Suited for Change. But before we jump into that, tell us a little bit about your background. Yeah, sure. So I, I am, you know, I'm from Brazil. That's why the accent. So I moved uh, to U.S. two and a half years ago. And uh, I have MBA in marketing and business and uh, I'm positive psychology certified. And uh, I work as a marketing manager in Brazil for six years in a higher education. And uh, I have some international experience in, in Paris and Milan as a fashion business I studied in Chiritu Marangoni, so and we moved here two years and a half ago with my my husband and my daughter. So Aww. it's been quite a journey. Oh, yeah, world <laughs> yes. traveler. <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah, I mean, I I think that helped me live here. It's because I have my my open mind to you know to curiosity to try and to see new yeah different cultures. So yeah. And you and I both have a love of positive psychology. For those that don't know what that is, can you share a little bit about it? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So positive psychology, it's a scientific study. I like to say it's a scientific study because a lot of people just, just think it's a happyology. That's not. So a scientific study about our thoughts, our behaviors, every, our strengths. So everything that makes our life worth living. So that's what I like about it. I like to think like positive psychology when you have a garden. So, I mean, it's important you take out of your, the weed, put out. But also if you want to have a, um, a grape tree, so you have to put some seeds to flourish. So positive psychology is about this. So you're going to focus on your on your flourish, on your strengths. That's going to make you life worth living. Yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> oh, totally. Yeah. It, it's, it's the study of what's working, what makes people successful versus you know, all that ad, abnormal stuff that we hear about or the, you know, what's not working kind of stuff. <laughs> yes, exactly. Because it doesn't mean because you're, you're healthy. That means you have a well-being that's completely different. So, you know, so if you want to like thrive in your life, so you, you have to be like function well. So that's about like positive psychology. It's going to help you, you know, show up in the world the way, in a better way. So you're going to yeah. like, yeah. So I think that's, that's what I love about, you know, in, in, in Brazil, I used to have a, with my, my model because I have this background in marketing. So I have with my clients, I use these three pillars. I have the positive psychology, the coach and the personal branding. So we, during our sessions, we have some intervention, positive psychology. And it was very interesting because I, and I used to help people to achieve goals and be the best version of themselves. And usually by the end of our, our, our program, because it was a process, I was asked them, like, what do you think this was worth have all this time with me? And most of the people, they, they say about the goal. But they're more like to give me the feedback about all of those interventions because that's what makes them feel better about themselves. And uh, and yeah, and uh, I don't know if you know, but here in the United States, I there was one research, the Gallup research that shows there's a lot of like, people disengage and it's cost a lot of money for the economy. So when you know your strengths, when you know your talents, so you're going to put like more effort and energy is that so that's going to make you thrive and succeed and then you're going to bring more money to the company <laughs> so i mean that's <laughs> i mean that's that's a win-win for everybody <laughs> exactly well and i yeah. can see definitely how your talents are are utilized at suited for change before we get to what you're doing there though mm -hmm. can you share how you found yourself at suited for change 
Yeah, I mean, I was I was in Brazil. I was participating in a group they called Brazil Women's Group. In Portuguese, it's Mulheres do Brasil. So the the goal of this group it's uh, you find out what's your talent. So you're gonna help to build and improve a better country in your local community. So I was in this education committee, so helping women. So before I moved to United States, I was like, okay, so I have my mentality to volunteer. I believe you have to give to receive. I believe we need to, you know, to help our local community. So I Google when I was there, like place. I don't remember what I put in the Google, but show up suited for change. It was like, oh, this is perfect because I love marketing. I love, I love, you know, coach. I love study and learning. And I love help another woman and I love fashion. So I thought it was so, and I so aligned with my personal life mission. So when I came here, <laughs> I remember when I was, I knock on the door and I say like, because it's, I, I thought like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take a chance and call because I don't know if they're going to understand my accent. So <laughs> I was no. like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to knock at the door and say, I want to be a volunteer here and I want to give workshops. <laughs> And then I was like, it's like, okay. <laughs> and I think, I don't know. I, I believe, you know, Chris, I think we, I believe be out of your, our comfort zone, take chance and uh, allow ourselves to be seen. And uh, that's, that's what I love about Suity for Change because I mean, I used to say to, to my family and uh, even my colleagues and, and my friends that say like, you know, I think I have a, such a meaningful job. I don't, even think that I'm working. <laughs> I have so much fun helping those women. I mean, I'm never going to forget one of our clients. I remember at the end of the session, she told, you helped me to to take the courage to be myself during the interview. I think it's just so huge to help the person realize how beauty they are. Like, you know, they have such a strong side of them. And sometimes you just need like a person to help you to see that. So I, I love Suite for Change. So aligned with my, you know, my life mission and my purpose in life. I, I believe it's a calling. Yes, a calling. I love it. <laughs> I, I, I totally believe it's a calling because even in Brazil, before I came, I was to work, uh, help, um, at the church in the women's ministry. So I always be involved with this helping people. So I believe it's a calling, like help it, another one to shine and see how beauty, you know, they are and that they can they can thrive. And then I think what I like most about City for Change, I think it's so important, like those organizations, they help with food, of, of course it is. And uh, it's, a, it's a need, it's a basic need. But I believe when you help a woman and give them the dignity and uh, their kids going to look in a different way. And then you're not only not helping that woman, you have the society. And uh, I think it's so, that's what I love. It's more than just give the fish, you help them how to fish. <laughs> yeah, so, I love yeah. that. Yeah. So that's, it sounds like a very important why for you. What is it uh, that you do? Can you share with the listeners what your different, uh, your role essentially at Suited for Change? Yes, I I started Suited for Change as a volunteer, and then it was in April 2019, and then January 2020, I was hired and became part of the team. So I'm the marketing and program manager, so I help with the, the, the volunteers, manage the volunteers, the training, and also the relationship with the referral partners. I'm responsible for the social media and the website and uh, our professional develop program. So, yeah. So that's the end. Uh, yeah. Oh, so just two things. <laughs> I love <I'm> it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So you basically help run the, like the foundation of everything. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what? You're 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 so small team, and then I what? That's another thing that I like. You have to be able to do every a little bit about everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so this, I think it's it's amazing. That's why it's so important our volunteers, and uh, and I like to say how much we appreciate you because <laughs> we have one thing that I was very impressed when I and I got the suitor for change. 
our volunteer. They're so amazing. It's such a great community. And I was like so impressed about this. I, I, I didn't, I, yes. And then, and thank you so much, Chris. We appreciate you <laughs> and oh. our volunteers. That's, that's amazing. It's a privilege. Yay. Oh. Yeah, it is a great group of volunteers. Yeah. Oh, thank you too. For this podcast, in honor of Women's History Month, what advice do you have for other women? I would say, Chris, have a big goal. Something like you dream, uh, like very big. And then uh, and then think about a why this is important to you. I think sometimes the why is even more important than the, big, the goal. Because that's going to like make you, when you face a challenge, that's going to say like, you know what? That's only a challenge. My why, it's beyond myself. It's really important to me. So I want that goal. So it's going to keep you focused and on track. And also uh, embrace the vulnerability. I think the vulnerability is it's going to be your best friend. That's the path to the courage. You know, in Portuguese, courage is coraging. And it came from where the Latin score and in Portuguese, core heart, it's coração. So courage came from that word heart in Portuguese, coração. So I believe it's about telling your story, who you are. I can tell about my example at the Suite for Change. I have a goal, I have a why, and I tell my story and who you are. And I think it is so important because people look for authenticity. They, 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 I think you're going to shine better and have like a meaningful life if you're able to tell your story. And uh, you, you need to be, have courage to do that. Because if you don't have courage, you're going to try, you're not going to, you're going to try to pretend to be someone else. You're going to try to fit in and not, it's not going to be true. So I would say, have a goal, uh, know your why and uh, embrace your vulnerability. And to have the courage to be seen and take all the opportunities <laughs> and have the mindset. The, I love you. You wrote the article to Suite for Change, um, the growth mindset. So mm-hmm. have this mindset. You can learn. You just you need to make effort and then you can thrive. And, and at first, Suite for Change during the pandemic, I think I mentioned to you, that was the, the growth mindset that helped us. Like, you know, we don't know what it's going to be, but you know, you're going to pick make some effort, be creative, and you're, you're going to just go through it. So I, and in our why in, you know, the team, the board and the volunteer, it was bigger than all those challenge. So I think that's why it's so important to have your why very aligned with your goal. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Sense? Your why is huge. <laughs> totally. Your why is huge, it's right? Huge. Everything it's is a learning huge. opportunity. So there's not failure. It's just learning. <laughs> Thank you, Fernanda, for sharing your wisdom with us today. Thank you so much, Chris, for having me. It was such a pleasure and an honor to be here with you. Thank you so much for what you're doing for Sweetie for Change. We, we love and appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.